Yeah, we're really deep water. We're like 100 feet. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I think so. What is up guys? Welcome to Fish and Forge. My name is Zach and we are having a new fishing adventure today. I got Robert with me in his new boat. It's definitely not new, but it's new to him and it's very fishy. You can tell this has been well used and well loved. So we're out here on a, on a local lake fishing for kokanee actually. This is a, I used to fish for kokanee when I was a kid, but I haven't fished for it in years. So this is a, a relearning experience. I, I have some flashers on and Robert has a big trolling rig with a chain and like five spoons on it. I don't know the exact name for it, but we're out here. We are fishing. We have some corn and some garlic corn on. We are just basically trolling around looking for fish now. So hopefully soon. Oh, oh where? Bottom. Oh, on the bottom? Yeah. On the bottom. I don't know if we're that deep. Go deeper. <laughs> anyway, guys, put you on the chest cam. Hopefully we can get some fish in the boat and have a good day of it. Yep, I think so. Might be the flasher. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's a fish or not because I'm not used to reeling in the giant flasher. <gasps> not skunked! It's a trout. It's a pike minnow. Oh, it is a pike minnow. You bastard. <laughs> well, not skunked, I guess. Slimy bastard. Yay, my corn! Let me show what I'm using. So I got my two ounce weight here with a T swivel, about a foot and a half liter to my flasher, which is like copper and this green, yellow, and orange. And another two feet of liter to my hoochie with a little smile thing on it and some corn with two hooks. And we're just trolling that right along, hoping, hoping for some fish to find it. I got a tuna sandwich and an egg salad sandwich. And I got Lunchables and chips. I see sunlight on that hillside. Come over here, sunlight. Make another pass and if nothing happens, we could just shoot down to where everyone else is. All right, let's get the trolling motor down and get out again. Oh, hurt. I have a bite. Oh, oh get it. Fish on. It feels different. It's fighting. Of course, it's right when I was eating my Lunchables. That feels it. That needs weight. Oh, no, did he pop off? No, he's still there. He's still there. Look at me. I got it. Here. Yeah! Woo! Oh, that too. That's yeah, that, too. that is a pretty looking fish. This is what we're fishing for, guys. Show the show the yeah, we gotta go troll around here. We found one. I was gonna say, find one. Look how beautiful they really are just like little miniature salmon. Look how pretty they are. This is a landlocked salmon, guys. Oh Jesus! Coke. It's definitely a kokanee. They're a little coho, I mean. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, that's pretty much what they are. But look how pretty. They are so pretty. It's crazy how pretty these fish are. 
I'm gonna bonk him and put him in our cooler in a moment. But I just want to try to get a good picture of him. Beautiful fish. Very, very pretty. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Robert. We got one. <laughs> that means we're doing it right. <laughs> At least yeah. partially right. We're gonna be making our pass. That was definitely a school at 20. Yeah, we can definitely we can make some big circles and find him. That was the the wobbler with no with plain corn. My expectations are completely subverted. I thought the other one was gonna get a fish first. Look at that, Robert. Fish blood in the boat. I don't remember how many pulls down this was. There we go. Fish 40 feet down. Ooh. I hope I'm 40 feet down. <laughs> Cross our fingers here. I would consider it a victory if I can catch at least one today. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, there we go. You got one? Yep. Nice. Oh, it's I got a coconut. Nice. Is it shaking hard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard to get the net. Robert's first. Oh, yeah, grab me the net. Robert's first coconut, first fish in the boat. Uh oh, careful, you got my line too. Yep, shoot. Reel it in a little more. And try to pull it, pull it up this way. Pull it up that way. All right. Ta-da! There you go. The rainbow. Your net. Boom! On the board. Look at that. You got oh, a nice yeah, one. Yeah, no skunk. Yeah, you spit it, dude. Right when you got him in the net. Nice. It's good timing. <laughs> Jeez. Are those guys fishing? Oh yeah, they got rods. That'd be fun. Fish off those things. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Where's the net? Reel it down, reel it down. And lift up. Boom. Second fish. Oh, one on each rod. Perfect. That's what you like to see. There's another small school right around where yours just was. Oh, that's on the flash here. Cool. It's good to know. Oh, a bunch of them, 50, 50 feet, like right now. We're just going over them. Oh, fish on. Maybe. Oh yeah, little guy, or feels little. Oh, he's fighting, he's fighting better now. Huh? Oh, he just popped oh, off. No. Dang it. Oh, I I tried to just yank him up. I probably I shouldn't have done that. Dang it. Oh, oh, fish, fish, fish. The on still? Yep. Nice. Really, that one wasn't on. That was probably literally the one that we saw. <laughs> Oh yeah, the net. Lift it up. Fish in the net. Nice. Oh, fish, fish. He's big. He's really big. Yeah? Is it heavy? Yeah, I feel... Dude, this is a f***ing ugly stick. Look at this. <laughs> lift up. Lift up. Oh, right past it. Gotcha. He's a little guy. Oh, he's not that big. Felt bigger. Nice fish, though. What was that, four for you? Yeah. Nice. Damn, I need to get on the board. Again, Ooh. I've been skunk for a while. Gotta remember that green flasher, too. 
That seems to be the hot one. I think you've got most of them on that one. Yeah. After we caught that fish, uh, a big storm front actually rolled in and pushed us off the water. So we uh, we decided to call it because the, the weather and the water was getting a little choppy. And I actually knocked out my camera starting the engine here, so I didn't get any sort of uh, footage from returning home. We did end up with five kokanee total. I caught one and Robert ended up with four. So I took mine home and cooked it up that night. It ended up being really delicious and here's some footage from that because uh, I was actually really happy with how it turned out. These are the stars of today's show. Kerry Gold, high quality butter, and then garlic. I want fresh garlic, but I feel like this Kirkland garlic's pretty damn good, so may as well be fresh. And all we're gonna do is fry it in our pan here. Nothing special. Well, so let's get on that. Yeah, look at that butter melt. Get a good amount of garlic in there. Our beautiful filet. Mm. We're gonna ladle some of that hot butter and garlic over the top of the fish. Oh yeah, that's how we like it. If you guys haven't tried high quality butter, it's good, it's, it's, it's worth it. Give it a shot. So you can see the thin parts are already cooking on the edges and that top part's still nice and red. So I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds until that top part gets a little more pink and then I'm gonna flip the whole thing. Hopefully not, it's really, it feels tender. It's really tender. So I hope I don't just destroy the, the whole filet, but. It'll be worth it if it works. All right, it's about time to flip that, flip that delicious filet. Oh, it's this nice browning on the edges. Beautiful, if I don't say so myself. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Holy crap. It's about as simple as you can make it. Butter, garlic, on a pan. Let's transfer this to our plate. All right, so I wasn't recording, but um, <laughs> I already took a couple bites. This is actually really good, like really good. It just flakes apart just super easy. So it's really similar to a trout or a steelhead in that regard, or salmon. And again, this is just a landlocked salmon. And the taste, you get, you kind of get that strong smell into the flavor. But it's really good. But I wanted to try it, you know, just and taste the fish. I don't, I didn't want to put too many spices on it. And I have to say, it's really good. Like, I would eat this plain any day. Because it just tastes so rich. That strong flavor, that strong smell made it a really strong flavor too, which is not a bad thing. Like, strong as in like, it tastes really fresh and delicious. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with this. This turned out great. Um, I'm excited to go fishing for him again maybe catch more than one. <laughs> Robert did really much better than I did, but next time hopefully we can get limits. I think the key is just finding the depth and it's hard to do without a depth, without a, a, a line counter and B, like a downrigger to set a specific depth. But either way, I think we got it nailed down more today.
Uh, those green and silver flashers were, were key. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this. This is delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed the catch cook process and I'll see you guys next time. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely think about it. I release videos every week with fishing and foraging content and cooking content and how to's and other fun stuff. So if you enjoy my videos, definitely think about subscribing. I would really appreciate it. It would be awesome. Like this video, comment below what you think. Have you had this salmon before? Let me know. Like I am ex I'm super excited. We were originally gonna, we were planning on smoking a bunch of them. So that's probably gonna be the next video is if we catch a bunch is, is smoking them. But yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys next time. Oh God, not into the pan, damn it.